I woke up feeling sorry for myself, feeling tired, not wanting to work out, just wanting to sleep. But sometimes you gotta go to that dark place, that fucked up place in your brain. You gotta go, and you gotta go hard. What's up here? Let's go. And the pre-work I'm hitting on, but I'm still tired. <sighs> okay, let's go. on, 30 seconds off, 10 rounds, 10 minutes, I'm dying, let me compose myself, and then it's like that. What's up guys? Welcome to Training Diary Episode 2. Um, this week, so first off, I have my phone right here with some notes that I took throughout the week just so I could accurately kind of record how I'm feeling, what I want to talk about. Um, so this week was, it started off kind of rough. Every day I woke up, I was really tired, didn't want to train, didn't want to work out. So it was a real struggle to get going um, pretty much every day. Um, so my workouts kind of suffered because of that. Um, and I did notice that when I had like a Gatorade or some fruit or something like that before I started working out, I did feel a little bit better, a little bit more energized, but still not enough to really kind of push through and have the great workouts that I'm used to. Um, but on my days off, where I have uh, time to eat a meal or two before I work out, I've been feeling really good training and uh, just been feeling awesome getting workouts done. Um, as you saw, I hit a PR on my pull-ups, which was really awesome. I hit two, almost three, um, and my main goal was trying to get my chin over the bar, trying to get up to about here. Um, so I'm working really hard on that. I'm gonna continue to work on that because I hit my goal of two. Now my next goal is five. Um, so I'm really excited to go ahead and get to that. Um, I have never been able to do really 
that many at all, um, especially weighing 265-ish pounds. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, this week also, um, I struggled a little bit with my weigh-ins, um, just mentally struggled with it. Um, I had a high weigh-in one day of 267 pounds, which was pretty close to my uh, weigh-in last week. So I got kind of discouraged and uh, just talked to my brother about it. And he kind of just made sure that I knew that weight loss isn't linear and uh, that it was to be expected. And then funny enough, next day I hit my new low weigh-in of 263.8, which I was stoked on. Um, so my weight loss is still progressing. Um, not having to work super hard on my diet or anything like that, just still hitting my numbers to the best of my ability and uh, things are still progressing. Um, I have been having problems eating all of my food on some days. So I'm having to force feed a little bit, uh, which isn't great, but it's not terrible. Um, I did have some ice cream yesterday uh, and I felt absolutely terrible afterwards. So instead of trying to force myself to eat this absolutely crappy food, I'm gonna just continue to eat my good, healthy, clean food. Um, and then if I don't hit my calories and my macros, I don't hit them. Um, my coach said that as long as I hit my protein, I'm good to go. So I'm just gonna keep focusing on that and then um, just kind of progress from there. Um, I've been having some problems with sleeping uh, and just stress. I haven't been wake or I haven't been sleeping solidly throughout the night. Um, I've been waking up pretty consistently every couple hours. Um, just tossing and turning and all that, so it's probably playing uh, a factor in how tired I am and just how I'm not feeling the greatest. Um, and that could also be stress related. I have some uh, work stuff going on, so that's been on my mind. Um, I've been working a lot, so it might be time to dial back my work schedule just a tiny bit so I can kind of chill and relax and have more uh, me time, kind of. Um, I've noticed that I've been uh, taking in a lot of information, um, when it, whether it's reading or learning stuff on videos or keeping up on the news or anything like that. Um, and I haven't spent a lot of time like producing stuff out of my own brain. I've been absorbing a lot, um, which kind of is, I think might be overwhelming me a little bit. So I'm going to take some time and uh, start producing more. Um, these videos will help. Um, Making workouts will help. Uh, writing, I'm gonna start writing a little bit of stuff down. Uh, I'll start working on some other side projects that should help me kind of decompress and get some of this noise out of my brain. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to touch on for this week is um, two of my goals that I have. Um, oh, hi. No, no. Oh, hi. Um, so two of the goals that I have is I, I want to start running. Bye, guys. I want to start running a little bit. So today I actually went on uh, about a mile walk jog thing, um, just testing the waters, making sure my ankle and my knee don't hurt, um, which went really well. Um, I have to focus a lot on making sure I don't overextend my stride so I'm not causing any pain or anything like that. But that's something we're going to be working on. Um, as my weight comes down and as I get in a little bit better shape, I'm going to start working on my uh, running and how that feels and everything like that. Um, and then start running with my girlfriend a little bit more because we both really enjoy it. And then another goal that I have is I want to start climbing. I want to start trying to climb with my buddy. Um, out here he, uh, he loves climbing and I'm, I kind of fear I'm not strong enough uh, to do it so I'm really going to be working on my grip strength and my overall athleticism so I can kind of start climbing and bouldering a little bit just to hang out with him a little more because he really is obsessed with climbing right about now. Um, and then maybe as a trade-off I'll get him into the pan cave and kind of beat him up in here a little bit. But it's pretty much it. Um, other than that, I had a good training week. Everything's going fairly well. Yeah, so... Look forward to this coming week. Uh, see you.
seeing what we can get done. So let's go.